July 14, 2018, Ekiti people will definitely decide. We have met with a lot of people on the streets of Ado. We've met with a lot of political party bigwigs and uh, some candidates too. But most importantly, we need to talk to Independent National Electoral Commission, which is the commission responsible for the conduct of election in Nigeria. Uh, I'm Taro Badegeshin, the head of Hotel Education, Publicity, Gender and uh, Civil Society Organization. The Commission of Negative State had embarked on a series of activities towards ensuring that we midwife a free, fair, credible, transparent and acceptable election come 18th of July 2018 in the State. The Honorable Commissioner in the Kitty State, Professor Abdelgani Olaikaraji, had uh, met with the traditional institutions and has assigned them the duty of ensuring that they appeal to their subjects to ensure we have a rank of free, a crisis free election in the Kitty State. We didn't leave out the security operatives, uh, the ICCS, that is the Inter uh, Agency Consultative Committee on Election Security. We meet at uh, on a regular basis to ensure we, we, we fine tune and I comb uh, areas we believe are flashpoints. And uh, as I speak with you, the electoral officers that are manning our local government area offices are also doing the same thing. They meet with the critical stakeholders at the local level on a regular basis. We've had the prim party primaries in the state and it was uh, fruitful, it was uh, uh, crisis free so to say. Even though we recorded uh, some elements of uh, crisis, but they were able to, to uh, support the challenge and we were there to monitor the process. At the end of the day, we, at least we've had the candidates of 35 political parties in the Kitty State fighting for uh, the seat of governorship in the Kitty State. ADNEC have declared some 299 flashpoints and uh, many people are asking what is the meaning of flashpoints? And what is the influence on that, the positive or negative influence of that towards the on the July 14, 2018 gubernatorial election in the state? Uh, Flashpoints are areas we believe we are likely to have crisis. Because they are the areas we've been, turbulent areas we've been having crisis all along. Uh, but they, you know, we can't mention the, the areas, the flashpoints for general consumption, there are areas to be combed by security operatives. And we believe with the intervention, we will not have any challenge with the, with the election. Esther, we learned that uh, the INEC is planning to use some youth core members of the NYC during this election. What are the necessary preparations, especially to secure the lives and properties of those uh, ladies and gentlemen that will be used? Well, thank you very much. It's a policy uh, decision and uh, should be on. It should be strictly followed uh, towards ensuring that we have core members that will have good control of the process. The Commission of the State initiated a concept we refer to as root training. We've been on this root training for the past six weeks. The essence is to catch the core members that will partake in the, uh, in the process at the initial stage of their being camping. We've been to the camps where they, they were to train them, and while we have them in their places of primary assignments, we still have them being trained using the period of their community development programs. Remember, INEC has a kind of memorandum of understanding with NYSC. So we have taken permission from the NYSC that they should please allow the period of community development program to educate, to train these core members. Uh, this is contrary to three days uh, training uh, crash program we've been having in the past. We want that we have sensitive materials. We want them to be conversant with these materials, all the forms. So by the time they complete the modules that we have spread for nine months, they will have been well acquainted with the contents of the forms. On our part, we are going to be transparent. We are going to be open. And we are not going to take side with any political party or candidate. Much as we are saying this and we are ready to take this to letters, we also want the public to please allow peace to reign. They should cooperate with us and uh, 
that doesn't mean they should stay away from us. They should cooperate with us and be updating us from time to time uh, with the goings on in the community. We wouldn't have known all the flash months in the Kitty States if not for the support of the public. At stakeholders' meeting, they keep on updating our knowledge of the environment. At this point in time, or at this point in time, this is what happens in social place. So it was on the basis of that we were able to garner 299 uh, the places we tagged as flashbacks. We still want to appeal to them not to leave us with the job alone. It's a collective responsibility, it's a collective commitment towards ensuring we consolidate our democratic process in Nigeria. Right, thank you very much. On a final note, sir, the issues of permanent voters' card, how much are the electorates registered and how much have they been able to get their PVCs? Well, uh, in the Kitty State, we registered quite over 900,000 eligible voters, but uh, we've not been able to collect more than 500 PVCs. We need to appreciate, we need to commend the turnout for collection of PVCs in recent time. I know before the election comes in to us, they will have collected more PVCs. Thank you very much, sir. This is Citizens Information Network, AKT decides July 14, 2018 is the D-Day. Peaceful and violent free election in AKT State. ANEC has assured us, the political parties have assured us, and the AKT electorate have assured us.